Hello, lovely humans. Today, I had plans to do like the ideal morning routine vlog, and that didn't happen. <laughs> um, this third trimester, it's kicking me in the butt. I am so tired all of the time, and especially since I can't sleep through the night anymore, I'm up at least two to four times to go to the bathroom. It's just making it really hard for me to get up early in the morning, so... We're gonna weigh it a little bit and do something completely different. And we're gonna do a crochet with me vlog. I found this gorgeous granny beret by Caroline Zuschlag. I'm probably butchering your name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I thought this beret looked like a really fun, quick, easy project. I'm still in the middle of my baby blanket and my raglan dress, but both of those projects are really monotonous projects where I uh, keep repeating the same stitches over and over and over again and it's taking a long time. So it's not that I don't like those projects, I really do, but I kind of just needed a break and do something quick and fun and different um, before I get back to those big projects. So the idea for this video was crochet a beret in a day. See what I did there? Um, I'm off to an awful start already because I should have started early in the morning, but here we are. It is 1 p.m. Noelle just fell asleep for her nap, which took way longer than usual. And yeah, I'm about to start. I will link Caroline's uh, YouTube and Instagram down below so you can go check that out. Earlier today, I posted a poll on Instagram asking uh, you lovely humans what colors and kind of yarn I should go for. And the first option was the Amigo XL from Hobie in these three colors. And the second option was the Metallico yarn also from Hobie in these three colors. So, Let's go see what the poll says. Oh, it's so close. But by one vote so far, the Metallico is winning. So um, I'm not going to wait any longer to see where that poll goes. Maybe I'll do one bray of each, depending on how quickly this one builds up. But we're going to use this Metallico yarn from Hobie for this crochet a beret in a day project. So I'm here in my favorite spot in our couch. I have a cup of tea and my Mac with the video tutorial for the beret ready. So let's, let's get started. So she's using a totally different yarn than I am. And uh, she has a yarn that recommends a hook size 5, but she crochets more loosely, so she's gone down, down a size. I crochet quite tightly, so this yarn that I have, it recommends uh, a hook size 4.5 to 5, and I'm gonna stick with a 5, so let's hope that that works out. mistake already <clears throat> not a huge one I just um, started to crochet with the nice end that I was gonna weave in <laughs> not the actual thread Made another mistake. Wow, my brain, I, this pattern so far, it's not hard. It's just that my brain is all over the place. <sighs> 
so I had to frog it even one more time. And this is not Caroline's fault, it's not the pattern's fault, it's purely third trimester pregnancy brain's fault. Um, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> this is what I got. I'm about to switch over to the third color now. And yes, I had to change as well because I got so frustrated <laughs> with myself and that combined with the pregnancy heat flashes, I just needed something a bit more airy and flowy. So let's continue on to the third color. Now this side is going to look really messy. Uh, Caroline likes to uh, just crochet in the ends as long as she works. I like to weave in the ends, so that is why it looks like a yarny mess on the back side here. But. All three colors, maybe not show you the really messy side, but here we have it. Do we like the colors together? I, th I think I like them together. I'm not even sure right now. Uh, don't feel confident about anything with this project just because I keep making messes and mistakes. <sighs> but let's continue on and see if we can get this beret done in a day. It is now 10 p.m. Will it be a beret in a day? I'm not as confident anymore as I was. When I stopped filming earlier today, I got this far. And then I realized that because of the type of yarn that I'm using, uh, I didn't really like the result of using the size 5 hook, so I started all over. <laughs> and size down to a four and a half. I don't know why I keep showing you the messy side, but yeah, this is what I have right now. But there's still a couple of hours left of the day, and even though I'm not as confident, I'm not giving up yet. So I'm gonna continue on with this beret, and we'll see how far we come. So obviously I didn't finish my beret in one day. I really wanted to, but because of the fact that I started all over after half of the day had gone by, I just, I wasn't able to. But I've come to a point now where I'm working on the rib. I did have to make like a few adjustments from the original pattern uh, because this yarn is a bit lighter than the yarn that Caroline uses in her tutorial so I had one extra row of increases and I also had one extra row of granny stitches before I started on my ribbing. I'm still not sure if this is gonna fit. I mean it's hard to know. Maybe? I wasn't really sure about these colors when I started this project, but now I really like them. And they kind of remind me of something, but I don't know what it is. Is anyone else? What is it with the this color combination? I know I've seen it before, but I can't recall where or why or what. So 
help. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to do the same beret in the Amigo XL yarn as well, which was the other option I had up on Instagram on my poll. Just because I want to have one that's a little more subtle in color. Um, in addition to this metallic one, so. Maybe it'll be two berets in two days? Could I do that? I'm not so sure I would be able to, but we'll see how long it takes. Well, here we are two weeks later. You would think that after two years of this pandemic, we wouldn't get hit by the common cold, but we do. I did. I got hit real bad, so that is why I haven't filmed anything before now. So the big question update, finish line to this project. Did I manage to make a beret in a day? No, I did not. You can definitely finish this beret in a day. It is not that hard. It doesn't take long, but I made a lot of mistakes on the first one and that set me back a lot. <laughs> and again, as I said earlier in the video, that is not, not the pattern's fault. It is all my pregnancy brain's fault. My mistakes all the way. If I look really warm, and sweaty. It's because I am, because I'm really pregnant and I get heat flashes and we suddenly got a taste of summer. So there's that. But yes, so then the second question is, did I manage to make two berets in two days? No, I didn't, but it was really close. I made them both in just a little over the span of 48 hours. So I was really close. The first one I have here, the one that I made with the Metallico yarn. So yeah, this one I had to do some adjustments to the pattern as well, just because the yarn I was using was a little bit thinner than the yarn that she recommended. So I had to add a little bit uh, to make it fit. But the second one that I made, that I made with the... Oh, brain fart. What is the yarn? Amigo XL. I think it's the Amigo XL. I will write all of the, the details in the description down below so you can see all of the yarn and everything that I used. But the second one, right here. And I'm really happy about that one too. I wasn't sure with the color on this one either while I was working on it, but that that's what you get when you start a project and you haven't like bought yarn specifically for that project. But I really like it. This one is a little bit bigger in the size and I think I like that look of it a little bit more than the Metallico one. When it comes to the colors, I like the Metallico beret more than this one. But when it comes to the fit and the size, I like this one more than the Metallico one. So now I have two. So it was definitely a really, really fun project. I had a lot of fun making both of these berets, even with the mistakes I made. I had lots and lots of fun with this pattern or this tutorial uh, that Caroline has made and I will link the video down below so if you want to check it out or you want to make your own break, head on over to Caroline's channel, watch her tutorial and just 
follow along. And then if you don't have a pregnancy brain like me, then you probably won't make as many mistakes as I did. <laughs> and it won't take as long as it did for me to make it. That's where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for tagging along while I tried out a new pattern. I'm definitely gonna make more berets in the future, but right now I'm working on other projects and I'm gonna share more of that soon. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these you like the most, the Metallica one or the Amigo XL one, and let me know why. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and bell button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video soon. Goodbye.